So this is absolutely sick. I haven't even counted this yet. Who encourages this type of behavior? Only y'all. Only y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek behind the scenes. Let me show you guys what we have here. First off, I still have all of this giveaway makeup right here. Second. Look at this. Sponges. There's new ones. There's so many sponges. And this isn't even all of them. And then we have eye brushes. I believe these are blending brushes. These are just brushes that I don't use very often, like bronzer and blush brushes, highlighting brushes, foundation brushes. These are like angled brushes. Look at this. Sick, you guys. All different brands. These are foundation brushes. I have more eye brushes here, more like blush, powder, setting powder, bronzer brushes, contour brushes. These are like more brushes that I don't use very often and then more eye brushes. Disgusting. Hey you guys, I am back with another video, another declutter video. And as you saw from the title, we are still at it, all right? We're still going. So, as you know, we're doing makeup brushes. I have Probably half of my makeup brush collection right here. These are all of my face brushes, not including sponges, but all of my face brushes sitting on top of this table here. They barely fit. It is bad, you guys, okay? Very, very bad. So I have face brushes and I have eye brushes. So as I do in all of my videos, pause this video right now and let me know how many brushes you think I have. Leave it down below right now. You want to know how many? All together. Eyes, face, sponges. How many all together? I'm ashamed, you guys. 509. 509 is our total for my collection. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how it got here. I don't know how it got worse than last year, but it is. I might have to split this video up into two because I have eye brushes, I have face brushes, like I said, I have sponges that I need to declutter. So it may be split up in two. I don't know, but we're going to try to get through these as quickly as possible and really whittle this down to a usable, workable size, okay? And I do want to let you know I have some dirty brushes behind me. Those brushes I will not be decluttering. I did add those in the total, but those are brushes that I want to keep so I won't be decluttering them. And I also got some new brushes that I got in PR that of course I will not be decluttering those either. However, those are also counted in the total, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start here. These are just sort of a hodgepodge of brushes, brushes that I don't use very often, or I just don't need as many of them as I have. Some of these, I just, I'm not quite sure exactly what I need them for, and so I'm gonna be decluttering probably half of these at least. So I kind of divided this little pale into these types of like traditional foundation brushes and then also these like domed shape brushes that I really don't use much of at all. So that's what I kind of separated this into. So first things first, here are all of these like flat not this one, but these flat traditional foundation brushes. I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. And they probably just came in a brush set. So I really don't need 15 of them. I only use these like when my nails are long. I'll use them for primer or I'll use them to put on like moisturizer so it doesn't get under my nails or something like that. So I'll only keep the ones that I really, really want to keep. And I think just looking at these, the only ones that really strike my fancy is this ColourPop one. I will keep this It Cosmetics one because this is really, really nice. I do have three of these from Sigma and these are really old, but they keep so well and I absolutely love Sigma brushes. So I'm going to keep the big one, but I'll declutter the two smaller ones. And FYI, I do have a discount code with Sigma. Check the description box down below. Go ahead and shop with them. Amazing, amazing brushes. But yeah, the rest of these gotta go. 
All right, so next we'll dive into highlighter brushes. I have those kind of separated into like fan brushes and then regular brushes. This is gonna be hard because I love them and I really don't have that many. I know that's probably a crazy sounding statement considering I do have a few sitting in front of me, but I don't think it's that many for me. So I am going to keep, I like this Eco Tools fan brush, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep this skinnier, what is this? I think I like this one, actually. This is by Morphe. I'm gonna keep the skinnier fan brush also, and so these two can go. Okay, now for these. This one's kind of all like bent up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I don't know if you can see it, but the hairs are just all over the place, so I'm gonna let that one go. And then for the rest of them, I love this Morphe 501 and this Morphe 510. I have several of each, and I think I'm gonna keep all of those. Oh my God. I have three of the 510s. I don't need three, so I'll get rid of one of them. But I also wanna keep this one by BH Cosmetics, and this one is really nice by Wet n Wild. And I also love these from Anastasia Beverly Hills too, so I'm gonna keep both of those. And these, these are a little bigger, but I just don't feel like I need this. Like, I won't use this for a highlighter brush. And I really don't know what I like to use this for, so I can let this Sephora brush go. Same with this Wet n Wild one, and you know what? I do want to keep this Sigma Tapered Highlighter, but the rest of these, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna keep this Real Techniques one too, but these are gonna go. All right, let's move into the dome shape brushes. So I use these normally to remove setting powder from underneath my eyes. And let's see, the ones I really, really, really enjoy are which ones? Uh, this Morphe one is really, really nice. I love it. This Kat Von D one is also really nice, so I'm gonna keep those. Gonna definitely get rid of this Luxie brush. It's just super flimsy and it doesn't really do anything for me, so I'm gonna let that one go. The Crown one is too bulky. Um, this is one by Moda Pro. Just too bulky, too big. I can let that go. I have three of the same brush by e.l.f. Why do I have three of the same brush? No, these are a little different. These two are the same. Oh, I do have three. So these three are the same, and this one. So I'm gonna keep this one and one of these, and I'll let these two go. Then for these last two, I really don't need either, so I'm gonna let them, ooh, I like this one though. I'm gonna let them both go. So let's move on to foundation brushes. I uh, have so many of these. These are brushes that I will put on my liquid or powder foundation with, so. Uh, I really like these brushes right here, so I'm going to keep this Real Techniques one as well as this Artis brush as well. Um, Sigma F82, this round kabuki, this is like a definite favorite of mine. This is the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80. I've probably had this for six years and it's finally getting loose around the ferrule, so I'm going to let this go, but I do have a brand new one, so I'm excited. I can still use it. Um, what else do we have here? This is a really nice foundation brush, this Morphe E31, along with this Morphe E6. I'm gonna keep this Hourglass brush. I also want to keep these Real Technique Expert Face Brushes, but I only need one, and I have two, so I'm only gonna keep one. And then, what else? You guys, honestly, I don't apply foundation with brushes very much anymore, so uh, I'm gonna keep this Morphe E7, but the rest of these are gonna go. On to the powder brushes. These are all brushes for face powder, so just my all-over face powder. I know from looking at it, I definitely wanna keep, oh, I wanted to keep this one, but it's falling apart. The Morphe E1, such a pretty brush, but it's literally falling apart, so I'm gonna let that go. But I am gonna keep this Sigma F20. This is one of my newer brushes, and it's just, it's so gorgeous. Along with this It Cosmetics, this is an It Cosmetics brush, keeping that. I'm going to keep both of these Tarte brushes. These should have actually been with foundation because I can put on liquid foundation with this, so I'm keeping both of those. I'm gonna keep this knockoff Marc Jacobs brush also because I really like this one. What else do I have here? Um, 
gosh this Jessup large powder brush is actually really nice I believe you can find these on Amazon this one's really nice so I'm keeping it I'm also going to keep this Jessup tapered face brush which is really nice and this eco tools um, domed bronzer brush because I like that but the rest of them I think can go hmm yeah I think the rest of these can go you know what I do think is a staple though that I'll keep this elf powder brush I'm gonna keep this this is like a staple so I, I'm gonna keep this in my makeup collection all right so next up we have these duo fiber brushes I don't use duo fiber brushes too too often but I'll just keep a couple to make sure that I satisfy my little makeup requirement so I have two of these Josie Marin brushes a small one and a big one the big one is actually wobbly on the ferrule so I'll keep the little one because I do like this brush um, I'll also keep my Mac 187 I think that's a staple what else do I have um, I like these smaller ones so this RC cosmetics actually I don't like the RC cosmetics but I do like the coastal sense one so I'm gonna keep that other than that, I mean, this Luxie brush is nice, so I'll keep that. I'm also going to keep this tiny Sephora one. This is the number 42. But other than that, I think the rest of these, I just, I just don't need. So let's move along to another hodgepodge of brushes that I just really don't even know what to do with. I barely use them at all. So this is like a body bronzer brush. I really don't need that. Um, I don't even know what to do with this. This is the Morphe G33. It's so oddly shaped. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I will keep like this Morphe G34 because you can blend out concealer really nicely with this along with this Sephora Pro. What is this? I honestly don't have a need for many of the rest of these. Like, you know what? This one is cute. This Morphe E50. Let's keep that. But the rest of these, like this Sephora brush, it's such an odd shape. I'm just so confused by it. Um, this Morphe E20. Oh, this looks like it'll be good for concealer, though. I just usually use a beauty blender. I'll keep this. But the rest of these, I think, can go. You guys, I think we're doing pretty, pretty good so far. So, this is all of my, like big like domed bronzer brushes it's also like just brushes like this that I can use for blush I can use for bronzer contour like a lot of different things and there's so many different brands in here we have elf Sephora Morphe BH Cosmetics um, Real Techniques uh, Makeup Revolution Eco Tools so many different brands okay let's get started these are the Tarte brushes that Tarte came out with. I can't remember which one is the knockoff and which one is the real one. I seriously can't remember. Like, I can't remember at all. But I really like this brush, so I'm going to keep them both for now. Actually, I can get rid of one. And this one looks like it's just more tapered and put together, so I'll get rid of this one. All right, for keepers. Love this Wet n Wild brush. Um, Morphe, another Morphe. I want to keep this one by e.l.f. This one by BH Cosmetics is actually really nice too. And this one, this is from the It's My Ray Ray collection. We're keeping that. Um, I have this like knockoff NARS Eda brush. I'm going to keep this too, just for nostalgia's sake. Such a good It Cosmetics brush. Definitely not giving that up. And these are some of my favorite big bronzer brushes also. The two white ones are by Morphe. And then this one is the Sephora Pro number 40 brush. So I'm keeping those. All right, what else do we have? We have this Morphe 551, M551. Isn't that what these are? Oh, these are the 527. This is the M551. So let's get rid of one of the 527s and let's keep the 551. How about Other than that, um, I want to keep this Real Technique brush. What else do we have? I'll keep this It Cosmetics brush too. And this angled one is really nice. This is one by, what is this by? I think this is by Eco Tools. This is a really nice angled brush actually. Oh, and the knockoff NARS. I like this for brush, blush. Other than that, I think everything else... Oh, my MAC brush. That has to stay too. Other than that, I think everything else can go. 
Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. You know what? Just in case it comes around and I'm like, I do want a, I don't know, I want to use something like this. Let me just keep this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but let me just keep this one. I just, you just never know. But other than that, the rest of this can go. All right. Got another basket. This is the last basket of the face brushes. We're actually whizzing through this. So these are probably my favorite types of brushes to buy. I have some angled ones in here that I like, but then I also have like just these kind of like flat powder brushes. I have an abundance of these and I don't know why. I'm just so attracted to these brushes because they're super versatile. So I think this is where it's gonna get tough, okay? Um, I really love this Morphe M523. I love this Wet n Wild brush. The color is beautiful. Um, what else? Luxie Tapered Highlighter. I like this. Ooh, Lord, Lord. This is hard. Um, let's keep this BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray brush. Cara K14. I really like this brush. Gosh, you guys, I don't know what to do. I love all of these brushes. Morphe R10, we're going to keep. LA Girl 107. Um, shoot. This e.l.f. blush brush is actually really good. So let's keep that along with this Luxie 660. I like that. I like this Wet n Wild brush. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. ColourPop. This is the nice one. ColourPop actually has some really nice brushes. Same with this Jessup brush. I love this. This angled brush from Coastal Scents. It's a little beat up, but I really like it. Um, this car brush. Let's keep it. Oh, uh, you guys, I like this Tarte brush too. I love it for blush. This is getting rough. This is getting rough. Um, one of my favorite brushes, this is the Sigma Large Angle Contour F40. Such a nice, nice brush for blush or bronzer. This Morphe B32 is actually really nice. It's kind of scratchy, but it's a really good brush. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this crown brush also. And this Real Techniques Contour Brush. And this makeup brush. What is this? The it's My Ray Ray by BH Cosmetics. I'm keeping this Real Techniques brush also. Oh gosh, you guys. This Luxie brush is just so soft. This Bare Minerals brush, that can go. Oh, I'm keeping this BH Cosmetics one. I love BH Cosmetics brushes. Let me see. I can also get rid of this It Cosmetics one. Um, this Morphe, like little domed one, I can get rid of. I can let go of this Sephora brush too. Um, this Morphe M403, Morphe M55, what is this? 530, this Real Techniques brush can go, that can go, that can go, oh lord. Mm. Alright, these are all going to go. Keeping these three, and I'm going to let go of these three.